And I'm ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, and Z, E, bro. Good morning, sixth grade. Can you believe that today is March 19th? And who says that we have to be in school to actually learn? In fact, if you check me out, I'm sitting at my table. But what are we going to be talking about this week? This week is all about speed, acceleration, and velocity. Who says we can't pick right back up to where, from where we started from? All right. So what I'm going to do is I have a video for you guys to watch and you can check out the video via our new YouTube channel um, here at Colfax. I also have some notes for us to take a look at. And today it's going to be just about speed. What exactly is speed? All right. So I want you guys to take a couple of minutes and listen to my video and pretend like, I don't know, we're kind of in the classroom and I'm saying, stop, no, don't do that. Uh, are you listening? Do you have your notebook? Do you have your pencil? I need you to have all those things, all right? So if I didn't tell you today's date, today's date is March 19th, 2020, and we are ready to go. And it is, today is all about speed. So what exactly is speed? Speed is a measurement of how fast an object moves relative to a reference point, all right? So take a look here. Speed is a measurement of how fast an object moves relative to a reference point. Speed equals distance divided by time. So let's give an example. Say you have a, a baseball, all right? And I have an example here. A baseball is thrown a distance of 60 feet in five seconds. What is the speed of the baseball? So what are you gonna do? You're going to take the distance. You're going to take the distance, which is 60 feet, and you're gonna divide it by the time, five seconds. And when you do that, you should get 120 feet per second. But we could just stop the speed. But did you know that there's two types of speed? In fact, we have something called instantaneous speed. And we have also something called an average speed. So what do I mean by instantaneous speed? The speed of an object at a given moment. So one example that I actually wrote down is a car traveling at 80 miles per hour at this moment, but may slow down or speed up during the next hour. It's instantaneous speed is 80 miles per hour. So again, instantaneous speed, the object, the speed of an object at a given moment. All right. But now let's talk about average speed. Average speed, which is calculated by the distance that an object traveled over a given interval of time. I'm going to say that again. Average speed, which is calculated by the distance that an object traveled over a given interval of time. If a car traveled 50 miles over the course of one hour, then its average speed is 50 miles per hour. Um, right here I have average speed equals the total distance over elapsed time. The total distance over elapsed time. So I'm going to give you an example. So while on vacation, DJ traveled 400 miles in eight hours. What is the average speed? I want you to think about it. All right. If you took the distance, which was 400 miles, and you divide it by the time, the total time, which is eight hours, your average speed should be, drum roll, 50 miles per hour. So This looks kind of weird because it's backwards. Uh, I got to figure this one out. But 
if you could kind of see this, kind of made these things, but I don't know how this is going to work. I'll figure it out. So today was all about speed. Let's recap. What is speed again? Speed is the measurement of how fast an object is moving, right? Relative to its reference point. And there's two types of speed. Today, we talked about instantaneous speed and we talked about average speed. So for you to get more information, I'd like for you to check out our YouTube channel. I'll have it posted in Google Classroom. Everything will be posted in Google Classroom uh, this week. It'll all be about uh, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Um, I'll be creating another video for you guys later on velocity and then another one this week on acceleration so stay tuned there's also going to be i told you a video there's a powerpoint out there on google classrooms um some of you have already been emailing me about how many stations should you do i think um i always say at least five stations five stations a week i feel like you know you'll you'll get the gist all right you know if you have any questions u.s students can send me uh, something over Google Classroom and it comes right to me and I'll be able to help you with that. Remember, I know this isn't mandatory, but no need to stay at home and be like matter and just take up space. Again, coming from Davis's kitchen, kitchen table or dining room table. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, sixth grade.